Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to show you a vegetable kurma. That is a hotel style uh, vegetable kurma. It is uh, famous, very famous in South India. Uh, we eat that with uh, idiyapam and uh, dosa or chapatis or uh, parotas. Parota and kurma is very famous. And uh, it's very easy. Uh, it's just like a vegetable stew. Uh, otherwise called in Kerala, uh, it is called. Uh, it's a Sarana Bhavan style uh, vegetable kurma. You have to try this. And hope you will like all my uh, videos and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get further notifications. Now I'm going to show you how to make the vegetable kurma. I have taken a pan with two tablespoons of oil and uh, in this I'm going to put uh, two cardamoms and uh, cinnamon sticks are here and I have taken uh, bay leaves, cumin seeds and uh, cloves. I'm adding all these together. And this is I'm gonna add two green chilies and uh, two small onions or one big large onion you can use. In this I'm gonna add to fry the onions. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt and one four teaspoon of turmeric. And fry these onions till the colors change. Now the onions have the color has changed. And now I'm gonna add a one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste in this and fry this well. And in this I'm going to add one big tomato, I've cut it to pieces. One big tomato, or if you have small tomatoes, you can add two. Cook the tomatoes till it becomes soft. Now I'm going to show you the paste uh, for the masala for the kurma. First, I have taken here some grated coconut, uh, maybe half a cup of uh, grated coconut. In that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of fennel seeds. And I have taken here 10 soaked uh, cashew nuts. I have uh, soaked this in water for half an hour. And all these together, you need to make it a fine paste. See, now I have grinded this to a fine paste. You can see. Now you can see the tomatoes are fully cooked. Has become soft. Uh, now it's time to add my dry spices in here. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of coriander powder and half a teaspoon of garam masala and have one teaspoon of red chili powder. You can add the masala according to your taste. If you want spicy, you can add more. Now this is the time to add the ground paste. And uh, you have to add uh, one cup of water also on this. Now I have added the ground paste and I am adding some water in this. Now it's time for me to add the cooked vegetables. I have cooked uh, the cauliflower, potatoes and carrots all together uh, you, if you have you have beans and everything you can add that also you can add sweet corns also I have cooked all these vegetables uh, in water for uh, 10 minutes I'm adding all these in together I have changed the pan uh, since that pan was uh, small for the kurma it was in NF now I have added some water and uh, this is coming to boil and I'm adding some frozen peas in this, green peas. And let this cook for 5 minutes and your kurma is ready and um, now I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of beaten curd in this. Mix it well. 
and check for the spices everything salt and everything whether it is enough or not and close the lid and let it cook for 5 more minutes so now the kurma is almost done it's fully cooked all the vegetables and everything is cooked this is very uh, tasty with the uh, rotis uh, and idiyappam and all the south indian dishes parottas and everything now i'm gonna garnish it with some coriander leaves and chop some coriander leaves and this is done okay